Hello, today we are working on lesson 6.10. Uh, dividing a polynomial by a monomial. And basically this lesson is just simply simplifying uh, fractions and dividing um, just uh, a monomial by a monomial when you separate the polynomial out. Um, this is something that we've already done in the past. So we're just kind of expanding the, um, the terms into polynomials. All right, so up at the very top, there is an example of what you would do. So this is a polynomial divided by a monomial. And notice that their next step is taking each term and separating them out. So 5x y squared minus 12x cubed y to the fourth minus six. So they've separated it out instead of having it all on the line with one three x on the bottom. And underneath each term, they put a 3x. This makes it um, just easier to see and simplify. Um, some students end up leaving it like this and just simplifying, which is fine. Um, I tend to do this just so I can see it better um, and just focus on one term at a time. So when this term was simplified, you start with the coefficient. Can I simplify the coefficients any further? And the answer is no on this one. So when you write out your uh, simplified coefficient, it's just 5 thirds. Then what they're doing is they're simplifying the variables and the exponents. So x over x, we talked about that. Any number over itself is 1. So x over x becomes 1, or they just cancel out because any number times one is that number. So if we were to put a one here, it would be like five thirds times one, which is just five thirds. So we get rid of those X's. And then X squared or Y squared, it cannot be simplified with anything. There's not a Y on the bottom. So it just remains as Y squared. When we go to the next term, notice that there's subtraction here. So we just bring that subtraction symbol down and we begin with the coefficients again. So we take 12 divided by three and we get four. Okay, notice it's not a fraction because we can simplify it further. And then we take X cubed divided by X. And remember that it's the same as X cubed right here minus, there's a one right here, we just don't see it, X to the first. So we just subtract those exponents when we're dividing and you end up with X to the second, which is what they have here. X to the fourth doesn't have anything to simplify with, so it just remains as X, I mean, sorry, Y to the fourth. So it remains as Y to the fourth. Okay, last term, again, there's a subtraction, so we put the subtraction down here. Your coefficients are six divided by three, so you get two. That leaves just an X on the bottom. Okay, so um, it would be two over X. And then this right here is your final answer. And that's what we're going to be doing in this lesson. Okay, so let's start with example one. And I'm going to rewrite this like this right here, this example up here. So I have eight X to the third over four X. And then I bring down my addition sign, 12 X squared over four X and then bring down my addition sign 4x divided by 4x. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this. Oops, I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer. Okay, so here we go. Eight divided by four is two, and x cubed divided by x to the first power is x squared. Now, I'm not going into a lot of detail with the division of the variables and exponents because that was in our last lesson. So that is something that we've already learned, okay? So then I bring down my addition sign, 12 divided by four is three. X to the second divided by X to the first is just X because two minus one is just one. And then four X divided by four X, well, four divided by four is one, X divided by X is one. So 4x divided by 4x is 1. Remember, any term over its exact um, copy is going to be 1. And so this right here 
is your final answer. Oops. Okay, so what I would do, if you're getting the gist of this, I would go ahead and come over here and do practice one on your own by pausing the video. Um, and then I will be working it out um, and you can check your answer. Okay, so 6x to the fourth divided by 2x plus 4x cubed divided by 2x minus 2x squared divided by 2x, okay? 6 divided by 2 is 3. x to the fourth divided by x to the first is x cubed. 4 divided by 2 is 2. x cubed divided by x to the first is x to the second. 2 divided by 2 is 1. I don't need to put that. Those basically just cancel out. x squared divided by x to the first is just x. And so that would be your final answer. Okay. All right, let's go down to example two. There's not really much difference in this one. Um, all of these are very similar. So I'm just going to keep going here. We have 15x minus 6 divided by 3x divided by 3x here. Okay. So... Um, 15 divided by three is five, and the X's just cancel out. They just would equal one, and we don't need to put that there. So then I have six divided by three. This is the same term as up in our example, actually. So I have six divided by three is two, and then there's an X on the bottom, and there's nothing to simplify that with, so we just do it like that, two over X, and that is our final answer. Okay, again, I know I'm going a little bit quickly because this is a concept we've already learned. Um, it's just instead of dividing a monomial by a monomial, it's a binomial or a trinomial or a polynomial by a monomial. So the concept we've learned, we're just making the expressions bigger. So 10x divided by 2x divided by 3 over 2x. Okay, so 10 divided by two is five. These X's cross out and it's gonna be divided by, now three over two X, we can't simplify that any further. So it just stays the same, three over two X. And that is our final answer. Okay, and just so you know, um, the examples are ones that I typically do with you. The practice are the ones that you could try on your own just to make sure you're grasping the concept. And the practices are very similar to the examples. Okay. All right, let's do these last two on this page. So we have 5x to the fourth minus 15x squared plus one. And we're going to Divide those all by 5x cubed. Okay, now this one is a little bit different just because we're going to end up with some negative exponents that we need to make sure stay in the denominator. Okay, so here 5 divided by 5 is 1, so those can just cancel out. x to the fourth divided by x to the third is just x to the 1 or x. Okay, here we have 15 divided by 5, which is 3. And then x to the power of 2 minus 3. So I'm going to do this up here. x to the power of 2 minus 3 gives us x to the power of negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to write that here just for right now. Some of you already know that goes on the bottom and we'll move it. Okay, this one cannot be simplified any further. So it's just 1 over 5x cubed. Now, this negative one cannot stay a negative. Remember, we can't have negative uh, exponents. So if you remember, you have to move that to the denominator. So let's rewrite this. X minus three over X, because we took this term right here and we have to put it in the denominator, okay? And then this stays as one over five X cubed, and this will be our final answer.
The practice isn't like this, the practice number. Okay. All right. We have 12x to the fourth plus 18x squared plus 9x all divided by 6x. Okay. So 12 divided by 6. Okay. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. X to the fourth divided by X to the first is X to the third. 18 divided by six is three. X squared divided by X to the first is just X. Nine divided by six, that doesn't divide um, evenly. So we're just gonna simplify it. So you could divide them both by three and you get three halves. And then our X is just simplify out. And there's our answer. All right, let's go ahead and move on to page two. These are set up a little bit differently and this is where a lot of students will not rewrite it, okay? So um, I do rewrite them, but sometimes I'll just do, I'll just rewrite them here like this, 2x squared, like that. And then that way I don't have to rewrite the whole thing. But if that does not make sense, please rewrite the whole thing. Okay, so eight divided by two is four. X to the fifth divided by X squared is X cubed. And then four X to the fourth divided by two X squared is two X squared. And then we have six divided by three and then X cubed divided by X squared is just X. Okay, this one, I'm not sure how, how it got in there, but we're just gonna do it, okay? So um, you may have one like this on your review in the homework, and that might be why I put this in here, but this is just a monomial divided by a monomial, but you're gonna notice here that all of your X's can be combined together, okay? So, Remember, when you're multiplying variables with exponents, you just add those exponents together. So we have six plus five is 11, plus seven is 18. So X to the power of 18. And then three X cubed can stay as three X cubed. Now that we've, um, we've combined our like terms, we can simplify this. So 12 divided by three is four, X to the 18th divided by X to the third is X to the 15th. So there's our answer right there. Okay, a little bit different than what we've been doing, but similar to a previous lesson. All right, let's move down to this one. Now we're getting into um, multiple variables in the numerator. Um, and so if you look at this one, I'm gonna, I am gonna rewrite this one. So we have x squared y squared divided by x minus x y divided by x minus y divided by x. Now you can't simplify the y's because we don't have uh, a y in the denominator. So your y's are pretty much going to stay where they're at. So um, x squared divided by x is just x, and then y squared stays where it's at, okay? And we subtract, x over x just cancels out, so this is y, we're left with a y, and then this one cannot be simplified, so we leave it as y over x, okay? All right, practice five is very similar to that if you wanna go ahead and try that one on your own, and then check your answer. Okay, so rewriting this. And we're going to divide these all by x. Okay, so here we have x to the fifth divided by x, which is x to the fourth. We can't simplify the y to the eighth because there's not a y in the denominator, so we just keep it as y to the eighth. 
x to the fourth divided by x to the first is x to the third, and then y to the third. And then these cancel out, but that doesn't mean that we don't put anything there. X divided by X equals one. So we have to put a term there. So we put one. All right, we have our last two problems. At this point, I'm thinking that y'all can do these on your own. Um, so I'm just going to write my three X squared underneath each term. Okay. So we have 27 divided by three is nine. X to the seventh divided by X squared is X to the fifth. Bring down our subtraction sign. 18 divided by three is six. X to the fourth divided by X to the second is X to the second and nine divided by three is three. And now we have X to the first minus two. And I usually do this when our exponent in the numerator is um, less than our exponent in the denominator. So one minus two is a negative one. So I'm gonna rewrite this and I'm gonna put this X in the denominator below the three. So it'd be plus three over X. Now, some of you could see that without doing this part and then rewriting it, and that's fine also. One of the things I, I've told you all is that if your exponent in the numerator is smaller than your exponent in the denominator, then you'll just subtract the two exponents and put them um, in the denominator. The tricky part, though is that if you have any negative exponents um, and you have to subtract those, you just have to be very careful. Okay, last problem. All right, so 81 divided by nine is nine. X to the ninth minus X to the third or divided by X to the third is X to the sixth. 27 divided by nine is three x to the fifth divided by x to the third is x squared. 18 divided by nine is two. And notice I have x squared minus three, which is gonna be a negative one right here. So the x will go to the bottom to make it positive. All right, and that's the final answer for this one. And we have finished 6.10. If you have any questions, make sure you email me or come to help class um, and that is it.